I'm Yutunde, I'm 17 years old, and I've been dancing for 10 My years. My name is Gabrielle, and I am 12 years My old. My name is Alicia, I am 14. I'm Eliana, I'm 12 years old, and I've been dancing for nine years. My name is Jada Perry, and I am I'm Natalie, I'm 17 years old, and I've been dancing I'm Zipporah, sorry, my friends call me Zippy. I'm 17 years old and I've been dancing for 14 years now. Hip play is a fusion of hip hop and ballet. Sometimes it's a little more jazz, sometimes it's a little more contemporary. I remember watching the older girls in the studio doing hip play and <laughs> being really just awestruck by it. I remember seeing it and being like, whoa, like that's new because that's not something that usually happens. So there was funky R&B music playing, but the girls had on their point shoes, which was very juxtaposing. That wasn't something that I was used to seeing then. Point shoes are kind of like growing up, and it's a privilege. Some people think that hip lay is abusing that privilege. They say like, oh, you're ruining ballet. We're not ruining ballet, we're rethinking ballet. It's not just, oh, let's just bust a move on point. No, I had to do three years of strengthening for point to be able to do hip fly. So it's also a lot of ballet training. When I was 12 and 13, my mom had put me in a predominantly white ballet school so I could get more ballet training. This is when I first started to realize that something is wrong with diversity in ballet. Being the only black ballerina in the company, you know, that's hard. I'm sure you've heard like ballet was not meant for African American girls. Balanchine wanted these long girls and skinny and you know, it's pink tights and pink ballet shoes. That's not always the case for African American girls. I this is rare. Like, like this? I in ballet, tights are traditionally pink. They match the point shoes. They're meant to extend the line of the legs and of the body and make it a clear finish. And you want to seem long and very graceful, and if there's a color difference, then that cuts off the line. It makes more sense for a brown girl to have brown tights and brown shoes. They started dyeing shoes way back when Mr. Homer was dancing, and he recognized the importance of having tights and shoes that match your face. For me, seeing brown girls do ballet is kind of a norm, like, because my mom danced, my grandmother danced. I wouldn't be shocked if my great-grandma danced, you know, so it's just kind of like, I was just used to seeing black girls do this all the time, so when the big wave kind of came up and Misty Copeland broke out and all that kind of started, it was kind of interesting, because they were like, oh wait, there's no black girls, there's no black girls, and I'm like, we're right here, <laughs> what do you mean? Like if someone expects something of me, like I just don't want to let anyone down. You're very strong and you should be very proud of yourself. And even sometimes when you feel like, I want to give up dance, but as you say, dance has been your weapon in life. You've used it to fight your battles off. So, you know, you, you think about that. I feel like if I wouldn't have come to CNBC, I wouldn't be where I am today. When I dance, I can connect to myself and just be like, this is who I was made to be. <laughs> like, this is my destiny.
me a sense of pride being able to do hip lay, yeah. especially because like of the reactions that we've gotten. Like I've noticed a lot of comments saying like, oh, if this was around when I still danced, I would have continued my training. And I'm like, well, if hip lay wasn't around while I'm dancing, what, what, what would what? I do? Yeah. Mr. Homer might be a father figure for some people. Yeah. Yeah. And even us to like the younger girls were kind of like guiding them and yeah. He gives them an outlet instead of being out on the streets doing illegal things, taking their anger out in different ways. Sometimes when I'm angry or I'm sad or I'm just emotional everywhere all over the place, I can come here and leave it all on the dance floor and I'll be fine. In my life, I have experienced violence in my family. Like people have died and I've had friends that have died too. And it's not a good feeling at all. When my parents grew up in Chicago, it was safer. But now, like, if you go outside in Chicago, you really have to be cautious. CNBC has been very important to me because if I'm not at school, I'm at CNBC. If I'm not at home, I'm at CNBC. So it's a second home. When my parents were going through a divorce, I held a lot of stuff in. And when I came into class, when I was really upset or mad. I definitely am not one of those type of people. I can't just keep it to myself. I have to express it in some way. Instead of like clenching my fist, I would point my foot harder or use my muscles harder and it really helped me as a dancer. It is not easy for a dark-skinned kid to be a classical ballet ballerina. People that love hiplet are saying thank you. You're staying relevant with kids. You're making a change in dance. And you're bringing other people into the fold that wouldn't ordinarily have a chance to do this. You hear about the violence and everything that's going on in Chicago. This is a feel-good Chicago story. One of the best. I love the feeling when I'm dancing. It feels fantastic. It's so beautiful. When you fall, you get back and up I and love you keep on being dancing. Able to express I want myself. people to see past the color and I want them to see the talent that and a girl I think or that's a guy really can hold. Incredible feeling not to have any worries even for half an hour. I am proud to be finally showing the world that there are some black girls who have technique and are very versatile and can do anything.